Hello YouTube viewers and random LEGO fans, thanks to LEGO today I will be reviewing this which is the Ultra Agents Mission Headquarters set and here it is in its packaging. As per usual we have the LEGO logo in the top corner and next to it is the logo of the Ultra Agents Wave and the set is for children between 9 and 14. The set focuses on the Ultra Agents as they attempt to stop the evil Terabyte and a free app is available as well to make the set more immersive during play. While in the other corner we get an image of the truck when it's fully closed up in undercover mode. As ever the main image on the front of the box looks dynamic and action packed. On the back we get a large image of the set when it's fully opened up and some further images just showing off some more of its features and functions of the set in general and some more information on that free app. Opening up the box and sliding out its contents, you can see the set includes 8 large rubber tires, 1 reasonably small instruction booklet, 1 very large instruction booklet, a staple of any good LEGO set, a sticker sheet, and a total of 7 clear plastic bags of LEGO bits. So without further ado, let's get the set built. Cue the time lapse. <sighs> so, here we go the Ultra Agents Mission Headquarters. And it's impressive. First of all, the actual truck itself is genuinely huge, especially when compared to the minifigures. The trailer is a bit basic on the outside, so we'll take a look at the truck itself first. This thing looks really cool. The front grille alone is very visually interesting and contains a lot of detail. I especially love these large blue transparent headlights at the front here. On both sides you can see these grey engine vents which gives the truck an awesome dynamic look, while the wheels have these clear blue hubcaps and big thick soft tyres. The cab also looks excellent with a large blue window and spotlights above. It's on hinges as well so it can be lifted up revealing the cockpit with the driver inside while twin smokestacks adorn the rear of the cab. As for the back there's not much to say but I do love how the rear tapers off here into a point that looks really sleek and effective. As for features the truck offers two orange spring loaded missiles on the front grille. To fire them pull these tabs in the sides up. They are spring loaded as I said and have a great range to them but are likewise powerful and could cause a bit of harm if accidentally fired into a child's face. Another feature the truck offers is this one man jet which can be detached from the rear of the cab. As you can see it's very small but features two fold out wings while the blue window can be lifted forward allowing access to the cockpit itself. Finally there's another tab on the side but more on what that does later. Moving on, here we have the trailer. Now, as I said before, it doesn't offer much detail-wise, it's just black and includes the same wheels as the truck, but that's when in closed mode. By opening up these various panels along the top and sides, the trailer can be split in half, which reveals a rather awesome looking mission headquarters. I'm frankly astounded at the level of detail here. The sheer amount of small pieces which come together to form this fantastic set is unbelievable. In the actual trailer itself, you can make out this large computer screen, the briefing room area, which features these two seats which can swing in and out for when the truck is in undercover mode, while this section here houses a laptop containing the agent's secrets which is connected to the computer screen via this grey cable. Next up is the communications area, complete with a swivel chair. I love it! Plus we get a bank of electronic equipment alongside another clear blue monitor with a keyboard mounted below it. In the centre of the trailer stands an adjustable satellite dish on the top of a black radio tower. On the other side of the monitor here you can make out this sort of weapons and equipment area where spare guns, a set of binoculars and a walkie talkie are housed. The back offers a yellow crane which can fold up for storage purposes while at the very back we get this sort of lab area complete with a computer and a little microscope. That's excellent. A grey ladder connects the trailer to its side which contains a lot of features as well. First up we have this souped up quad bike which is attached to the front section here. What's great about this is that a small lever has been included behind the quad so when it's pushed in it can fire the quad out quickly for a fast takeoff. The quad itself looks pretty cool what with the blue window at the front, the large tyres and these missiles mounted to the top of the rear. They're those push out slash flick out missiles which don't have as much power as the spring loaded ones though. The middle doesn't really offer much, just a grey platform with two computer monitors on it, and behind the monitors two detachable white guns have been mounted. A few of these come with a set for the minifigures to hold. What I really like about them is that the orange section on the front is a projectile, so pressing the grey switch on the top fires it out. And finally on the back of the trailer we get the prison cell. It looks high tech and it's made from more of that blue transparent plastic. A cool little feature it offers is that the door can be opened by spinning it around at the top, which just looks awesome. 
The cell can also be detached from the side as well. And if that's not enough, which it is, on top of that, the trailer can be attached to the truck. Yeah, yeah, I know, not that impressive, right? Well, take a look at this. Remember that lever on the truck I was telling you about? Check this out. By flicking it, not only does the trailer detach, but this leg extends from the bottom of the trailer and props it up. It's such a little thing, but I think it's just ingenious, and it's little touches like these that just set this toy off for me. So overall for detail, this set is amazing and includes a ton of features. Also included is this, which is Terabyte's mech. It's a large robotic machine which includes these green transparent sections to make it look cool and menacing. The arms are really impressive as one features that large four-pronged claw which, when the tab behind it is turned, also spins for added effect. The other arm has this really great feature where, when it's squeezed, it will fire out this green hacking ball bomb. The cockpit also looks great and houses one minifigure. Additionally, a little drone is connected to the back of the mech, which can be detached, and includes two double-barreled cannons. Both legs feature two joints, as do the arms, so it offers a nice amount of articulation to put it in some fantastic poses when it's on display. Taking a look at the minifigures, we get five of them in all. First up is Solomon Blaze, the grey-haired leader. Agent Carla Phoenix, who features a rather awesome-looking jetpack. Agent Curtis Bolt, with his flip-down goggles and firing gun. Professor Christina Hydron. And finally, the evil Terabyte, complete with his cyber-hacking blaster. All of the minifigures contain an excellent amount of detail printed onto them. The accessories are a lot of fun, and like most minifigures these days, when their heads are turned through 180 degrees, they offer that alternate facial expression. What's more is that the new Ultra Agents line features a tie-in app. This is free to download from the App Store and works on both Android and Mac devices. Here's the version for the iPad, in which there are six interactive motion comics, one for every LEGO set released in this wave. The comics themselves are action-packed and each one features a game which is tied into the storyline of the comic and can be played independently from it after it's been unlocked during the story. This is such a fantastic idea. It takes those comics that were printed in instruction booklets in the past to a whole new interactive level and works well with the actual Lego set to create a fully immersible experience for the child. During a size comparison, here we have the truck and trailer next to my LEGO Ecto-1 vehicle, which should really give you an example of the sheer size of the thing. It's huge! Especially when the minifigures are placed next to it, they're just dwarfed by its size. Even the mech looks tiny by comparison, although you can get a sense of its scale when a minifigure is placed inside its cockpit. So overall, what do I think of this set? Well, this has frankly blown me away. LEGO never ceased to amaze me with the sheer amount of creativity that goes into every one of their sets. The detail and design of this truck is outstanding, and the build quality of the trailer is very strong, taking into account the fact that it opens up. Its features and functions are excellent and offer a lot of fun and variety during play. Likewise, the mech machine looks awesome and features a firing hacker bomb and a rotating claw, which is really cool. Additionally, the minifigures all look unique and have individual individual personalities, while their accessories are pretty sweet. The instructions, as ever, are very clear and concise, or so easy and straightforward to understand, and while it takes a bit of time to build, the end result is so worth it. The Ultra Agents app is really the cherry on the cake, though, and combined with the set offers an original and unique playing experience. It integrates so well with the set, I can just imagine a kid setting their minifigures at this computer screen, then using the app and pretending it's what the figures are seeing on the screen. It all works together so well and I can't recommend this set enough. Lego collectors will love it for its amazing attention to detail and kids will love it for the utter amount of features and fun that it offers. And so that does it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to stay subscribed for more videos and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thanks again for watching and remember to keep following the nerd. Goodbye.